Hello everybody and welcome to Tech Lab. My name is Birinder and I'm from Vivexa Solutions. Those of you who don't know what Tech Lab is, it's our private Facebook group and the go-to community for startup and small business owners who get to learn and ask any questions related to website designing, landing pages, social media, social media ad networks, analytics, split testing, basically digital marketing, Facebook marketing and all those kind of stuff. And it's free to join. So if you're not in the lab, just go and join it. Okay, so let's get started today. And today I'm gonna discuss a very quick case study and which will confirm that why make decisions based on data rather than on assumptions and why you don't launch a business or product on assumptions. So let's get started. And so don't you think that sometimes as you assume that something will happen, but in the end, the total opposite does? That's what exactly happened to one of our clients. And in this quick case study, we're gonna just you know, we're gonna just explain what happened and, and how we tackle that. So let's get started. So the client, as you can see on my screen, the client is that's their website. The client is Jazzy Nailbox. They, it's a it's a new uh, Australian owned Nailbox uh, DIY subscription box, and um, and obviously we got a you know we have the permissions you know from permission from the client to shoot this screencast. And so when we took over their marketing project, so when they came to us and they wanted to uh, wanted us to run the the ad campaign and you know, take over and do their digital marketing, and uh, so we when we sat down in a meeting, we discussed a lot of things like what their target audience is and all those kind of typical marketing stuff, but they weren't sure about their target audience. But, but according to them, they 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 thought that their clients, uh, according to their assumptions, they thought their target audience is between 18 to 28 age group. And obviously we weren't, because they weren't sure, we said, okay, we, we decided not to take any action on assumptions. So we ran a Facebook page-like campaign for seven days and set it to $10, $10 per day. And just to see what sort of people respond to our ad and you know what the age group is. So I'll show you what, I'll show you all the ads. So it's in here. Now, this is the page-like ad, ad we ran and it's a simple page-like. So it ran for, so that's the ad, September 12 to 721. So that's 10, close to 10 days. So basically, sorry, eight days. So eight days and, and we got 153 page likes and page like, and per, per page like cost us around 59 cents, which is great, which is not bad. And you can see only eight, only 31% people were between that age group, according to the client and according to their assumptions. And most people are from either 25 and 34. So 35% people were between that age group, uh, 25 to 34, and the 33% were between 35 to 44, and 1% between 45 to 54. So as you can see, the page like, uh, Facebook page like campaign was a huge success, it was actually a great success. And that gave us a clear idea of, uh, of who our target audience is and what sort of targeting we should do or uh, you know for the for the launch box so then after that we ran a test video views like an animated video views campaign and that again confirmed the same thing so if you can see you got 88 8, 883 results like video views and out of that like 621 came from 25 to 34 but according to our client they according to their assumptions they were thinking that their target audience age group is between 18 to 24, 25, but that wasn't the case in case here. And that's again, was very good to know that, you know, what sort of people, what sort of users or, or people are responding to your ads and, you know, and that that helps us to move further in our marketing plan. And then after that, we launched our uh, wait list. The launch box was only supposed to be available to first hundred users. And so we ran a launch box campaign and again, we got 101 website clicks and the cost for per website click was 84 90 sorry 94 cents and and again 18 to 24 only eight people eight website clicks 25 to 34 21 35 to 44 42 45 to 54 30 so if so 18 to 24 eight percent only and then 21 percent and then 42 percent 42 percent and then 30%. That's again, uh, a, a great to know that, you know, that it confirmed that yes, our actual target audience is, is, is older than 24 for sure. 
but mainly we should be targeting people between 25 to I would say all the way to 54 and after that pay and after that launch campaign we created another launch campaign and ran that for six days only and that's again just to know uh, just to confirm that confirm about the age group and as you can see here 25 to 34 again 32 percent uh, 35 to 44 25 percent and then this time 45 to 54 we got 34 percent women you know clicked on that ad and actually signed up for the box launch box and and even we got 55 to 64 so eight percent people uh from that age group so yep so we got 71 clicks and again the ad per cost per per website click ad cost was 63 cents again not too bad so now i'm going to show you a quick hack now we had an idea about the age group the of the target audience so I so we just wanted to know wanted to make sure that you know that I, be, that our target audience is from that age group. So in so when they click the ad, it took them to this page. So where they just fill in this form, their first name, their last name, their phone number, their email, their message, and they just sign up for the box. And then it takes them to the payment checkout page. But in here, what we did was we planned to add a simple hack. This is like a very very good hack. So just watch it carefully. So in here, we just added an age group column and then gave them a nice, you know, bracket, age bracket to choose from, just to know what sort of people, you know, we're getting who are interested, you know, clicking to the ad and actually signing up for the product. So again, no assumptions, all the marketing decisions based on data. And, and that what confirmed that, yes, our target audience was actually, you know, from, were actually from that, 28 to 40 uh, age group. So then I'll show you what happened in here. That's I just extracted that information, the spreadsheet from the from the website, and this is the and that's the age group. That's the age group seen here: 36, 40, 36, 40, 21, 27, greater than 40, 36, 40, 36, 40, 36, 40, 28, 35, 36, 40, 36, 40, 28, 35, 28, 35, greater than 40. 40, 36, 40. So if you can see here, if, you, if I keep scrolling, we had 70, if I'm not wrong, see, to 20, 35. Most people and most users, customers, clients, people who signed up for the launch box were from that age bracket, were at, at least older than 25 years old. Or 20, I would say, yes, more than 21 or 25, mainly between 20, 35 or above. So in here we got 70, yeah, we got 80 signups and that's not too bad. And that confirmed that yes, our target audience was, wasn't the, wasn't between 80 to 24 as the client were, uh, you know, assuming, but it's actually, you know, much older. And that's, that's the, that's a very important marketing lesson. So if you're going to launch a new product, a business or any, you know, marketing campaign, make sure do not make any assumptions, just have the data you know, drive the marketing campaign. So this simple uh, age group contact form hack, simple age group hack, actually proved that the client, our target audience uh, was between 34 to 45 or, or much older than 27 years old, and which obviously completely opposite to their, what, what their assumptions were. So yeah, so, uh, so that's what, you know, that's what tells you that yes, do not make any assumptions. Never make your marketing or business decisions on assumptions as they are doomed for failure and can actually make or break a marketing campaign. And this, so before we go this quickly, this also helped us in a few other ways. One of, the, one of the ways is when it's also helps us creating the Facebook ad copy. So what sort of copy you go for, what sort of color, color schema, and you know language and ad creative that really helps because then you know if you know your target audience is much older than 24 25 then obviously it has to be a much mature copy so again that that that's really helpful and also it helps you creating the when you design the ad creative your your ad copy your banners and your ad creative and also it also helps you when you do the layout so if your target audience is much a bit older then, then you need to go for then what we do is we usually choose a much bigger and simpler font, a nice plain layout and bit, you know, much simple layout and font. Usually we go for 16 pixel font, you know, standard website designing, but in here we, we chose to go for, we decided that yes, it's our target audience is much older, a bit older than, than what, they, what we initially thought. 
so yeah so in at uh, that font 18 pixel and even the layout the navigation all those kind of stuff really really you know it's really important when when you know your who your target audience is what the age group is and, and when so that they can resonate with your ad copy your creative your website and all the other um, marketing material i hope you like this video uh, it's a quick case study that confirms that you shouldn't be making any decisions based on um, assumptions and everything all marketing decisions and business decisions must be made based on data and yeah so if you have a, if you if you have a new product launch if you're launching a new marketing plan a campaign make sure you make sure to get as much information you know make sure get all the information all the relevant important information because that can that will really help you you know plan your marketing and um, and uh, planning the future marketing campaigns so quickly you cannot you shouldn't be asking for uh, uh, the date of birth or exact age because that that will be rude and and you will see a lot lower conversions so that's that's a smart idea to do so that's why we decided to do the age group and that at least gives us an idea and you know, over overview of what you know what sort of people are responding to our ads and who should we target instead of we don't want to target people from all the way from 16 to 40 so yeah so that really helps i hope you liked it and i'll should see you in the next video ciao